The volunteer group, the Guardian Angels, joined thousands of NYPD officers in protecting the streets last night. But while on patrol in Manhattan, some members were attacked by a group of violent looters. One man even lost sight in his eye. Iowa News reporter Naveen Dhaliwal has a story. Cell phone video catching a large group of protesters and looters on Broadway, defying the 8 p.m. curfew in place. They were strictly there to cause as much damage as possible, loot as much as they could. Aram Sabet, a true born and bred New Yorker, only nine weeks with the Guardian Angels, was patrolling near Washington Place with only a flashlight and a whistle. Their rule, when the large group turned on him and his fellow angels. They literally surrounded us and it was like 150 people surrounding us. Bats, hammers, crowbars, um, ball peen hammers, the ones with the little balls at the end of it to, that you use to break things, um, metal bats. Now these thieves had a solid plan to loot this footlocker and when that didn't work, they walked just a few doors down and tried to grab whatever they could at this McDonald's and that's when the big fight broke out. 300 come back and it's an all-out battle. I get hit with a ball peen pam hammer. I have a, a linear fracture of my jaw. Guardian Angels founder Curtis Sliwa injured and Aram rushed to the hospital. 48 stitches in my eyebrow area. My left sinus is shattered. My nose is broken. I've got a chipped tooth. He lost sight in his left eye, and now the question, he and Sliwa say, this could have been prevented. Hopefully the NYPD gets more aggressive, but that's only if de Blasio lets them.